Hey guys, welcome back to this Oxygen Not Included guide series. So in this video, we are going to be doing part two of the early mid game. So we are going to be relocating the cold generator into this ice biome. So we don't have to deal with the heat that is currently building up right now. Uh, we are going to be looking for the anti-entropy thermal nullifier. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I, I do stutter on words. I do know how it's pronounced. It's just sometimes it's difficult because English is not my very first language. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Hopefully, once we build the the co-generator, we're going to be building multiple of them here. We can have the energy to actually convert or warm up the cool slush geyser. So remember last time we found this, right? The cool slush geyser does... Um, produce uh sorry polluted water but it's only at negative 10 c and because it's negative 10 c when we convert it into water it's going to freeze uh, water in this game freezes at negative 0 0.6 degrees if you click on the water tile right here click on properties it says freeze point so if we convert it from polluted water to water below that or at that temperature it will change state into solid into ice and it just breaks the pipe so that's not something that we want to happen right so we're going to do that we're also going to probably be building a more liquid reservoir on the bottom here so that way uh, we have a lot of water because once we find the anti sorry anti the the anti entropy 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 thermal nullifier uh, we're, we're mostly going to be building the oxygen generator. Yeah, we're going to be building that. Uh, so we're going to be putting all these stone hatches into here and probably get rid of all of these hatches or put them where the, the, the extra critters are, which is great, right? So, uh, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay. Oh, we have, we have, we have a, a, a printout. What do we have? So we have Amari. Okay. I cannot do research. I, I don't need jo Yeshua. Uh, we have a pip squeak. Pip squeak are great. You know, if you if you have a pip or pip squeak or pip eggs, definitely get them because we will be using them to re re sorry replant this area so that way we can have a nature reserve. Nature reserve gives you an extra six, I believe six morale, six morale, which is which is huge, right? Okay, so we're gonna go down here. Uh, I believe I'm going to be building some stuff here. Uh, probably the coal generators right here. Let's see, we 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 don't have enough. Okay, uh, I'm going to go and uh, da, 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 da. here we go. Let's go up this way. I'm going to be digging out some of the kappa. We love the kappa. Kappa. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We're going to dig out all these because we need a lot of copper. We need a lot of copper right now. Uh, we need a lot of copper. We don't need to refine gold into... Uh, sorry, gold amalgam into gold. Because uh, we only need gold, gold amalgam in the oxygen generator. Yep, we only need gold. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then, let's see... Oh, might as well. Let's see. How does one... Oh. So, remember how I told you not to dig out the slime lung? Unfortunately, here it is. So, all this green is slime lung and they'll get sick. So, what we can do is we can build a food tile. And we can actually put a wheeze wart in here. So, I built... I put a wheeze wart in here so that way it cools down the compost. Right here. Because it comes out hot, right? But... What else it does is it generates radiation and radiation kills germs right off the bat. So that's what we can do for that area. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, this area right here. So that way no germs will come into the base. Uh, let's see, wheeze wart, plant there. And now I actually want to clear this area. Let's, let's clear this area. Because I need to build more of the... Uh, of the mealwood so right here i want to put where the draco farm is because i usually put the draco farms on top of everything else because it has hydrogen and also we can't put airflow tiles on on the very very top where the hydrogen is if we do that then it just escapes so that's that's not something we want to do okay and then we also probably want to put in some more airflow tiles right here here 
Ah, uh, where else? So we, we're missing one here. Uh, one here. One here. Uh, it's good to put more airflow tiles because then the 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 gases can move around easier. Oh, I forgot to put one here. Yep. One there as well. Let's put one here too. Just in case, right? Uh, put one here too. It just flows. It just makes everything flow a lot easier. Okay, and then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, we can we can probably do one here because like we have we have the uh, deodorizers there. Yep. Okay. Okay, everything's going pretty well. Uh, let's uh, let's let's wait a bit until they finish mining out a lot of the coal right here. Sorry, the the copper, the kappa. Okay, so it looks like we can build some stuff because they've um, <clears throat> dug out a lot of copper. Okay, let's do one, two, three, and let's do a storage bin here, and then uh, let them dig out here first. Let's see what. Okay, let's dig this out first, and then we'll also build a um, which we'll call it smart battery right here, and we're gonna build on top as well. So let's build this like that. Um, and build another storage bin. Sorry, where's the storage bin? Here we go. Storage bin, power generators, coal generators, one, two, and three. And then also on top, so we're gonna have three of them. If you feel that you need more, you could have more layers. Oh, uh, do we not have enough kappa? I don't think we have enough kappa. Uh, they might, oh yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're digging more, they're, they're digging more copper. Copper, copper. Oh, that's gold amalgam. No, we don't want that. That's gold amalgam. I want, I want copper. Copper, sir. Copper. Two, three. Okay, I, mean, I guess th that will do for now. Um, but we are going to be putting another one on top up here when we have enough copper. Yeah, we have tons of copper. I just, I'm just waiting for them to dig the copper. So we can just wait for a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see, I built nine of the coal generator, and I'm gonna connect them to the um, smart battery, and then I'm actually gonna disconnect it so that way it sends these are all uh, red signals. Yep, and then we're also gonna connect these heavy wire wire to here. Oh, we might not have enough. Okay, we'll we'll wait for until we get more copper. But yeah. Um, you know what else I want to do is I want to build a rock crusher right here. Rock crusher right here. Gold amalgam is perfectly fine. Uh, that here. I also want to put a um, oxygen diffuser right here. Okay. And then I want to put a large power transformer right here. And then a small little transformer right here. Okay, great. Do we have enough? No, we do not have enough. You guys are you guys are you guys are messing up my videos here. <laughs> Let's do digging. Oh nine digging. You guys are messing up my videos. That's that's perfect kind. That's what the dupes are for. Okay, you see how it is? So this way, you know, all the surrounding um, cold temperature will nullify will, will absorb all the heat so we don't have to worry about heat uh, for a long time within our base oh and now because we did turn we did connect power to this liquid pump so it's pumping all the polluted water into our filter right here so as you can see remember how we put this as priority so anything above this is is going to go through first and it'll just like back up here and also here if this is backed up it goes right into the thimble reed so we have a redundancy system which is great that's how that works that's how that works it's beautiful oh we have a new dupe let's see what we have okay so we have Ooh, air consumption, no thank you. Ooh, that's too many, no thank you. Cannot dig, I do need you to dig, I'm sorry. So we're gonna do some Shine Nymph Egg. And what we could do with the Shine Nymph Egg is, I guess we can put it here, uh, so that way, hmm, so that way we can kill some germs with them, maybe? 
but we don't need it because all the germs are dead. So, yeah, we'll just let them free. We'll let them free. You know what? We might put them into the material, uh, whatchamacallit, research station. Because right now, our research is currently done. We don't have anything else to research. Um, because we do need to build the material science research uh, terminal. But we need a lot of energy for that. So we'll leave it alone for now. And we'll wait until all this is built. So I'm going to do priority 9 construction. Everybody's going to come by and everybody's going to construct. And actually I'm going to put in another deodorizer here. Here and... Um, I guess not there. Definitely not there. What we can do is we can build another mesh tile right here. And we can build a deodorizer right here as well. And we'll use a wire. There you go. We'll connect that to that. Okay. So we have to find the anti entropic uh, anti ent anti entropy thermo nullifier uh it might be in this area it might be in this area it might be in if it, it's actually not in this area it's not in this area it might be in here but most likely a lot of the times it's behind a ladder and i see a ladder so it's most likely behind that ladder right there so we're gonna be we're gonna be going down there but we need the water to be pumped up so while we do this, I guess we'll wait until if this clears up. If it does, great. Oh, we have something here too. So let's see if this is something. Remember not to dig out this tile. If you do, you're kind of in trouble. Let's see. Then let's see if we can do this across. See if anything's across here. We'll leave that alone. Okay, and then we'll just go downward as well. Okay, there you go. Ooh, liquid chlorine. Nice. Okay, so this whole entire area is dig dug out. Dig, it's dig out. Nice. So the reason why I put a oxygen diffuser here because somebody needs to go in the rock crusher and 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 refine some metal for us, and they're gonna run out of oxygen here. See the oxygen? That's not good for them. So we, we need one there. And let's see how's oxygen in a base. Our oxygen in a base is kind of not great. Not great at all. So we're gonna probably put one up here. And then put one down here. Maybe, yeah. We'll probably have to do that. Actually, no, you know what? You can put one right here instead. There you go. Okay. Once this is built, we can remove this one. The duplicate skills. Hassan. Hassan. Okay, Critter. You do Critter. Hassan. Liera is great. Thank you for your service, Miss Liera. I don't know why I put you into uh, grilling. Because we need you to dig. Uh, I guess super dig. It's fine. We can, we can always change it up later. Don't worry about it. Oh. Okay. So we have a stone hatch. We're going to move it over here. So we're going to change this into, let's see, stone hatchling. Remember to come back to this in a bit because once the stone hatch matures into an adult, you'll have that option there. So you need to take that off. Auto wrangle. Click eight. Okay. There you go. And then this, also oh, all critters, auto wrangle, zero, level six. So this is seven priority. So make sure always your critter drop off is seven priority and the incubation area is priority six and then the extra critter drop off is level five priority okay so that way someone hopefully a dupe will come by and just grab oh we have two of them and just grab this this stone hatchling and they will just put it over here hopefully and then we can actually give it some food uh, stone hatchling all the way down stone hatchling stone hatchling and we'll just give it ignis rock well it doesn't seem like anybody's coming by to 
uh, wrangle the 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 hatchling because we are kind of busy with a lot of things. So I'm going to remove you, great, and then I'm going to put a level nine on you, you and you, so that way. Oh, it did mature to an adult, so we can change this into adult as well. There we go. Yeah, everybody's busy just building this whole entire place. And they're, we're almost done. Right, look, see, see, see? Oh, this chlorine gas vent. Oh, we found one. If we had dug this out, it would have been a disaster. I mean, I guess it would have just changed into to liquid chlorine, but uh, we just want to leave that there forever now. We don't, we don't ever want to touch it. Okay, so this whole entire place is done, which is awesome. Now we're going to put consumable coal level 6 just so that we can fill this place up with uh, with coal. There's our pip. Pip, pip, pip. Okay, and then we're also going to be uh, digging this out. And we're going to be building some of the auto sweeper. We're going to put it right here. Right here and right here. Yep. Even though even though this does not touch here, it does. It, it's able to... Um, get that last coal generator as well. So don't worry about that one. I'm going to change this to 90. And then 30. I know, it's, I, th I think 40 before. We can put 30 for that one. So we have all this. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this as well. Let's do this. Okay. And yeah, we can probably, you know what? It's a little too late for that. I mean, we can probably save some of the materials. Actually, no, we can't. Can we? Yeah, we, we probably can. We can build some heavy jointed wires right here. Oops, sorry. That way, we don't have to do much. And to, yeah. Let's do this. And let's do this so that we will save some of our material. It's copper. Take that. Okay. And let's get rid of that. All right. Then we're actually also going to be building... No, no. We're going to be building ladders here. There we go. We'll just dig this area up. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to be connecting... Uh, where is the... Sorry, cable. Our cable, we're going to go and connect up this way and up here, up here, and there. There we go. So all those are going to be connected. Now what we need to do is we need to reroute power back into our base. Let's do this for now. Okay, went up. Do we have enough? I think we might have enough to. We might not have enough. Okay. So someone is going to go and punch me some copper. Okay. There we go. And then we're also going to be connecting this back out here. Okay, so once this is up and running, hopefully up and running. Oh, we have a new dupe. Doop, doop. Let's see, who do we have? We have, ooh, we have bubbles, which is great. So we have three agriculture and three strength. Creativity cuisine. We have uh, Marie who can excavate 10 and then cannot excavate. So she's at level seven, not level... 10. I, th I think I'm going to use Bubbles. Um, I want her to be... She doesn't have the strength. She does have strength in agriculture. So I'm going to use Bubbles. And I actually want to use Bubbles as our courier. So our supplier. Supplier first and then tidy second. Because uh, she does have some strength, right? Yeah, she does have some strength. So I'm going to improve strength right here. And then also improve strength and just give her the exosuit as soon as possible so that way she can she can she can run really fast. Athletics. Okay, uh, I guess run. You're not really doing anything. Don't worry, I'll fix this. I'll fix this a, a, a little bit later. Right now I'm just kind of like it's all messed up. That's perfectly fine. Okay, I guess we can also uh, let's see. Yeah, we have our hatchlings right there. Nice. There's only one of them. Where's the other one? Where'd the other one go? Oh, I don't see where the other one went. Do you? 
There's a stone hatchling egg. We had two of them. Where did the other one go? Did you drop it somewhere? Hold on. Let's go find it. No, no. That's not it. Nope. Nope. Okay. Hatch, hatch, hatch. Hatch, hatch, hatch. Okay. We are missing a stone hatch. That is quite odd, sir. Quite odd. Ah, uh, I, I don't have an explanation. I don't know where it went. Well, I do not know where it went, so that's a predicament that I, I cannot answer. Anyways, let's use a bridge right here to connect. Okay, there we go. Well, we have a pip right here, but I was looking for the stone hatch, the adult one, which I can no longer find. So I am not sure what happened to it at all. Maybe I was delusional. Maybe. Anywho. Okay, let's move forward. It's, it's no biggie. It's, it's really no biggie. Really. Let's finish constructing all this. Level 9, construct all this, please. There you go. Okay, it looks like everything is built. We're going to connect this to this now. And it's going to hopefully turn on. It, it will turn on. Please turn on. Someone turn it on. <laughs> well, I guess it's going to take time for it to turn on, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it, once you turn it on, that'd be great, you guys. Still level 9. Just one of them. One of them needs to just be on. And then, then we can actually deconstruct all this. So that way we don't have any problems with temperature in our base. Just, just come on. Come on, Ren. Are you are you the one? Yes, you are the one. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ren. Okay, let's put that to five. There you go. Oh, hallelujah. Okay. Uh, so this it says it's not... Com okay, that's why. That's why. Okay. So we just need to... One... Um, connect this to this. Great. And then we are just going to building. Deconstruct all that. And this as well. Let's check up on our oxygen. Yeah, see, it's it's just not flowing very well. Um, we do have enough of the uh, airflow tile. But I guess it's just not generating that much. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's good. Let's check up on duplicate skills. Meep, 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 meep. I need you to dig, meep. Thank you, meep. Okay, this is not, oh, that's why. There you go. Good job, meep. Construction, level nine, level nine. I just want all these constructed. Okay, and then we're gonna be building uh, more planter box here because I need to convert one, two, three, four, five, one, this area for the Draco farm. So it's one, two, three, four, five, two dupes, one, two, three, four, five, three dupes, one, two, three, four, five, four dupes, one, two, three, four, five, five dupes. Okay, that's great. Okay, so now this area is done. Okay, let's dig this out. So all this is done as well. This is great. So now we have all this co-generator. We don't have to worry about heat being in our base. Great. And now we're going to put some kapha. Let's do 50 here. We have oxygen generators. So that way they won't suffocate. They'll just be cold. They'll be fine. Don't worry, you guys. The dupes will be perfectly fine. Okay. You don't have to worry too much about them. So now, we're actually also going to probably dig down this way too. Yeah, we're going to we're going to dig down this way so that way the CO2 will just fall down to this area. Yes. 
Okay, how is this going? Okay, that's that's okay. What we're gonna do is now we're going to connect this wire to here. We're just gonna rearrange some stuff, don't worry. We're gonna do this and that, deconstruct that. We're going to dig all this out. Right, because we're gonna be building the the liquid reservoir right here. Let's get rid of this uh, auto automation wire. Okay, so we have three. Hopefully, this will saturate the base, but you know, might not. Hopefully. There you go. Okay, I'm also going to change all this into this. Okay. Then, liquid reservoir, probably. How many do you want? One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna connect them all together. Okay, let's connect them all together. Going this way, this way. Oh. Oops. And then we are just going to um, connect this to this, and then connect that to this. Okay, so this is going to go up this way, this way, and this way. We can disconnect this from here, because we do have a lot of water going into the carbon skimmer. So we don't have to wa worry about it going, uh, it not having enough water. Then we're going to connect this to this, and then this to this, and this to this. There we go. So that way, we do have still uh, water supply to the carbon skimmer. And yeah, we're going to disconnect stuff once things are built. I forgot to do this as well. Remove this pipe. All right. Okay, let's build. Let's uh, do some mealworm seed. Copy this. And put it like that. There we go. I do believe we should go and check out this area. Um, it looks like, you know what, it looks like we can go down from this place. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have a new dupe. Let's see what we can print out. We have 14. I'm going to stop at 15 dupes. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'll pass. I will pass for now. Uh, we'll do a grub, grub fruit seed. I'll pass. Uh, we can probably go down this way. Uh, no. So this is a Critter Flux Omatic. It does mutate the 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 critters for us, but I don't think we need it at the moment. So we're not going to be using it. So I guess we can go down. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I probably need to pump that out too. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Can we go down this way, sir? Yes, we can. We can go down this way. Okay, that's great. Let's build ladder here. There we go. Let's investigate this place down here. Oh, well, you know what? Let's change this to. Sorry, my bad. Change this to sedimentary rock because we are in a place with. Oh, we have no sedimentary rock. That's great. Okay, well, we'll just do granite. Granite is granite is nearby. That's fine. Sometimes things happen. This is perfect. Hello, Pip. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't think the anti-entropic nullifier is in this area. Most likely not. Who is starving? Let's get rid of this as well. Oh, what is this? Don't need that. Okay, let's look at... Yeah, oxygen is doing a lot better. A lot, lot better. Let's see the... Uh... The germs. Let's see, slime lung germs. Yeah, slime lung germs are gone too. Good job, good job, good job. That's good. Uh, we also probably have to get grab a lot of these resources as well. We need slot clay. Well, not yet. We need algae. Definitely need algae. So uh, we're probably going to have to get a lot of algae. Uh, what I want to do is I want to build one here. And we're going to dump all the water of this way, not down this way. Because we are going down here to investigate some stuff. Okay, and then um, let's clear out. Oh, how am I going to do this? 
Okay, that's the fourth one. One, two, three, four, five. Five right here. Okay. Let's go this way. And two, three, four. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. I don't think we have any sand. We don't have any sand, so we're good. That looks good. What we can do here... Um, we do need to pump this out. Actually, no, we don't need to pump it out. So, what I can do is I'm going to put a ladder, right? And I'm going to dig this area out. Now, I'm going to dig all this area out. And this is where we're going to put the tepidizer. I'm going to put a tepidizer right about here. It doesn't matter what material you put it as because it's going to be submerged into uh, cold water anyways. So, it will always be cold, cooled down. So let's do gold amalgam because we have a lot of that. Uh, we can put one here and then we could probably put the pump. We'll put the pump right here. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to automate this. Uh, we want to put the hydro sensor probably here. Yeah. We And thermal sensor probably here. Well, let me, let me see how we do this. So. We're going to do an AND gate. Let's see. Uh, no. Okay. We're going to do an AND gate for the pump. This is an AND gate, so it requires two input before it can actually work. Uh, we'll put the AND gate right here. I guess we'll put the temperature right there too. So, okay, let's do temperature thermal sensor right here. And... You can probably, no, you know what? Let's put the hydro sensor on the other side so it's easier. Hydro sensor on this side. Okay. So what the hydro sensor does is that it will say it will sense how much volume the uh, the liquid is before it tells the it, before it sends a green or red signal. So let's just do this. Same thing with a thermal sensor. And thermal sensor for the tepidizer, we actually have to use a NOT gate. Yes, we have to use a NOT gate. So this is a NOT gate. So it sends an opposite signal of what the thermal sensor sends. It's a reverse signal. So let's connect that. Okay. Because the tepidizer will keep going if it's green or if it's red. One of those. I don't remember. But this is this is what we want to do with it. And we also want to connect it together. Okay, we don't have enough of the that. Okay, so we're gonna go connect. You know what? We don't have to do that. That's just silly. Uh what we're gonna do is We're gonna do heavy joint of water wire right here. Okay. And we're gonna go click like that. Go across. Go across. There we go. Alright. So that's how you would set up the tepidizer for the polluted water. And once this is built, we can set the thermal sensor to five degrees. So if it's not five degrees, so let's say, so actually the sensor will be put in as, probably the best is probably 10 degrees, right? 10 degrees. And if it's 10 degrees, it'll send a green signal to the, the, the input right here. But this is, and gate will require two inputs. So if water reaches up here, it'll send a green signal as well. So once this is both green, it'll send a green signal to the the pump and the pump will start pumping. Let's connect that to that. So that's how uh, we'll work the pump. For the thermal sensor, if it's 10 degrees, we want to have a knot gate for the tepidizer because if it's above, because this will be above, oh, it's a thermal sensor would be put as above 10C, so that way it'll work for the pump. But for the liquid tepidizer, we want the opposite signal. So if it is above 10C, turn off the tepidizer. If it's below 10C, turn it on. Sorry, sometimes I have a hard time explaining things. But that's how that works. And we'll actually use this whole entire area as our metal refinery as well. Yes. 
because we can use the water from here to cool down our cool down our uh, the the metal refinery, which is really awesome. So we can build one here. Uh, let's do, do, do overheat. Let's see which one is good. No, no, no. Okay, I guess, I guess, I guess. Uh, granite. No, igneous rock is fine. Put one here. And we'll actually put a tile here and here. And mesh tile right there. Okay. We'll just leave that for now until everything is built. And then we'll, we'll build more of it. Do level 10 building. There you go. The guys are building it. Okay, so it seems like this area is a little hot. I did build a bottle emptier right here. So we are actually going to empty some water. Okay. And this is all jibby jabby right now. So it's all connected. But it's not really connected. So I'm going to disconnect this for now. Okay. So until this is all built, I'm going to disconnect that for now. Let's dig this out as well. So that way we don't have any debris right there. Okay. Okay, so I was right. The anti-entropy thermal nullifier is right here. This area is where we're going to build our uh, oxygen generator. This probably this area, probably this area right here is where we're going to build. We're going to excavate this whole entire place. And we're going to build it there. And we're going to pump oxygen here. It'll be, we'll pump oxygen and hydrogen here and it'll cool off and we'll re-pump it back into our base. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Maybe probably the next the next video if we have time because I think this is, this is a lot already. Okay, let's finish building this. Okay, so we can probably get them to finish digging. Ooh, there we go, level nine dig through that there you go you have so much oxygen right here and it's not even hot perfect place to pump out all that all that uh all that refined metal that we need but we do have a metal refinery right here so we'll have to find some fossil fossils are usually right here which is great fossil is right next door so we can have some uh, steel. We need at least, I think, 1600 steel. 1600 kilogram of steel or 3200 kilogram of steel. Whichever one. Oh, three athletic? Oh, nails. Okay, we can do nails. Nails, nails. That's how you pronounce it, nails. Yeah, nails can be our other um, delivery person. Our other delivery person. Okay, nails. Nails and bubbles are our two specialists. Oh, uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, do that. We need to move these these people around. Whoops, totally forgot about that. Sometimes when you're having fun, you just you just kind of forget about things, right? Two, two. Okay, bath time. Go. Let's see. One down. Bubbles down. And meep down. So that's gonna be the last dupe that we have. Okay. There we go. Good job. Alright. So as you can see, the tepidizer is working right now. This thermal sensor says, okay, we have to change this. If this is above 10 degrees, 10 degrees, turn off. See? And let's look at our wiring right here. See? As you can see, the Thermal sensor is sending a green signal to the AND gate along with the uh, hydro sensor, which we haven't configured it yet. So it says below 500 kilogram. We want it to be above 250 kilo. Oh, not 2,000. 250 kilo. Oh, not 2,000 again. Sorry, buddy finger. There you go. Now it's sending a green signal. So because both of these are not green signals, it sends a red signal to the liquid pump. So the liquid pump is turned off. Right now, the tepidizer is turned off too because it is currently 26 degrees here. So now we can actually probably 
Dig that out. Dig that out. Yes, we can. And we can probably dig this out as well. There we go. As you can see, once you dig that, that tile out, it it allows the, the whatever behind it is active, to be active. There we go. So this, uh, we'll have to get something to research this. So analyze that. But if this is fill, what we can do also is we can build another layer here and just dump all the water down there. So it'll be fine. Don't worry, you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they're not even done here yet. Okay. Okay. So once that layer of water is filled, it's like it's cooled down already. That's good. Okay. Let's just do that. There we go. Let's get them to construct all this. We need this constructed. Thank you. Yeah. So the... See? See how all this pipe is filled? And all the water is going into... To the... The thimble reed? Everything's backing up into the thimble reed? So we have a redundancy system. This is really nice. Uh, do we have any polluted water going in there? No, we don't. Which is odd. Unless it's not connected. It is connected, though. Oh, because this has water. Okay, so what we can do here is we can... Uh, there's nothing in there. Okay, empty storage. We can press empty storage and a dupe will come out and just remove all the water. That's why this is not this is not uh, growing. Because there, there was water in here. There you go. See, this is backing up. This is also backing up. I guess level 9, please, sir. Okay, and let's get rid of all of this wire because we don't need this. There you go. So once they clear, clear out that water, that this thimble reed is uh, growing. And we don't have any backup here. If we do, we can build another thimble reed right here. And we can connect that so that way because we never want this this line to be so back up right we never want that to be so back up and as you can see this line is taking priority over this line because you can see the water moving it's wonderful okay so all this water is going 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 great okay so now we can we can disconnect this from this Actually, no, we don't have to. We'll disconnect that from that and disconnect this from this. And we'll connect this to this here. Oh, wait. This to this here. And we'll disconnect this from this here. There you go. And we'll disconnect this from there. There you go. Magic. It's not really magic. I'm sorry. We're, at, we're, we're low on copper. That's why. Okay, we're low on copper. Uh, we'll do gold here is fine. Uh, priority 9 because we need that up and running. And we'll put a thimble reed fiber right here as well. Just in case. Actually, we probably might not need the Draco farm anyway. Because we have a lot of thimble reed. Probably not need it. Eh, well, you know. It, it was a choice. But I guess we don't need it. Well, we don't need it then. That's fine. So this, we're going to go and connect to here. Liquid pipe, insulated liquid pipe, because we don't want it to freeze when it's going. Uh, no, not granite. Granite's horrible. We're going to do igneous rock. There you go. Okay. And what we want here is that we want this to be prioritized. So we're going to use a liquid bridge like this. And we're going to connect this into here. There we go. So that way, this pump has priority over this pump. Okay, so it looks like we've ran out of time. Um, but I did dig up the anti-entropy thermal nullifier. I said that in one go. Um, okay, we are going to build the Rodriguez in the next video. Which I'm going to carve out this whole entire area first. And then I'm going to pump all this water out. 
Um, we did build the kiln so that way we can actually refine some refined carbon that is needed for our well iron sorry steel we have iron so we got we're going to be refining some iron and we have available here fossil as well so we're going to be refining some steel and also building the oxygen next episode and that would probably be end oh and also we're going to be cooling our base because it looks like our base is getting hot right here which is not so bad really to be honest with you we're going to be we're going to may probably make a cooling loop because we do have a metal refinery and we could probably refine a lot of the gold because we're out of copper right now we have a lot of gold so we're i'm going to be I mean, you know what i'm going to be digging all this air all this out for the next episode uh so yeah that's what we're going to do in the next next one and and yeah and we're, we'll hop into mid game because once we do all that we're probably going to be digging all the way down to get oil pretty much it yeah and thank you guys so much for watching this video and this series like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out bye